All right. So while Connor plays some hide and seek, I thought I would give you <laughs> my um, initial impressions of what I think of Assassin's Creed 3. I am at sequence 7 now, so I'm about halfway through the game, depending on how long the, the ending sequences are compared to the beginning sequences. I may be a little less than half. Um, and if that's the case, that would actually be quite welcome because I am really, really enjoying this game so far. There is so much to do in Assassin's Creed 3. You know, besides just the main story, which is great, there's just, there are so many things you can do. I mean, what you're seeing now playing hide and seek is part of the, part of the actual story. You can't get around it, but... It's just an example of there's so much more to this game than just being an assassin. It's really about a person's life and people's lives, and and you really feel that in this game. I think even more than than in the other ones with with Ezio. They did, although they did a good job in two of kind of introducing his his life beforehand as well, but not to this extent. Um, so yeah, like I said, really really enjoying the game so far. I'm not going to give away any major story spoilers um, because it just you have to experience it for yourself. Uh, but in terms of just how it plays, mechanics, story, music, it's all just so great and so beautiful. And and I think what they've added really just makes the game better than the previous ones. Um, without taking anything away from them, with and 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 all the stuff you loved about the old games is still in this one, unless you love Den Defense from Assassin's Creed Revelations, in which case I would ask what is wrong with you. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, there's no Den Defense to speak of in this game, at least so far. So hopefully that'll that'll remain because that mode was kind of a fail. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, really liking, really liking the story so far. Really liking the gameplay. It's so much fun. And in terms of the combat, the combat feels more fluid than in the previous games. Um, you don't feel stuck in fights, kind of like you did in the old Assassin's Creed games, where you'd be stuck waiting for someone to attack you so you could counter and parry. Um, the combat's a lot more free flow in this game, a lot more fun. Um, and definitely just kind of ups the pace of battles and, and of the story in general. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, there's so much more to do. Uh, you know, the, <laughs> I think Assassin's Creed 3 is kind of like a mix between the best things the Assassin's Creed series had to offer so far and added a whole bunch of Red Dead Redemption to it. Because <laughs> um, as you can see, there are animals running around everywhere. You can hunt those animals. Um, you know, you can you can hunt the animals, sell their pelts for money. Um, and well, we've just transitioned to another great thing that this game has: um, the naval navigation, combat. Everything about the naval sections is just so much. It's it's so much fun so magical to experience um what i'm showing you right now is the first sequence where you where you get to actually pilot the ship um so you're not going to see any combat in this sequence but just trust me driving driving the boat or, or steering the boat rather feels so natural and so nice um much more than i would have thought after playing like brotherhood where you had, you know, Leonardo da Vinci's machines, and you had that boat that was so horrible to navigate and try to try to fire with, and <laughs> you know, uh, of course, the flying machine, notorious that flying machine was just <laughs> maddeningly hard to navigate, and so I was afraid that that ship combat and and ship navigation in this game was going to be similarly frustrating, and trust me, it is not. It feels great. It feels exactly like it should. It's not entirely easy to do. Um, does, doesn't feel too arcadey, but at the same time, it's it's manageable. It's fun, which is the, which is the important part. You don't feel like you're fighting against the controls to be able to play the game, and and that's what's really important. And so I just I can't. <laughs> I could go on for hours about how much I love the naval section this, sections in this game, and I haven't even played them all yet. I've only played a couple. Um, 
but it is just it blew me away how how much fun I had with the naval sections. Um, so the story so great. Um, there, there's some parts at the beginning that they did not show in any of the promotional materials. So like I said, I'm not going to say anything to spoil the story. Um, but it's got some surprises for you right off the bat. Um, which is just, it, it, it <laughs> I was very surprised at how the game started out. And, um, so I guess I'm kind of spoiling by saying it's a surprise. But <laughs> at least you know that when you start up the game, you're, you're going to be experiencing stuff that you haven't seen yet at least if you've been avoiding gameplay walkthroughs so yeah um the sound if you can hear in the background the you know the the music the the crew's voices the just the sound of the the ship steering like everything is there there's so much attention to detail in this game and yes there are pop-in issues it's an open world game there are gonna be pop-ins don't harp on it i mean if if you gotta nitpick if, if you have to nitpick about stuff like that you're not enjoying this game in the way that you should be um so yes it's not perfect but it's you know and maybe they'll patch it and, and make it perfect to where there are no pop-ins or at least minimal um, you know, there are some wonky animal animations where animals get stuck running against walls or trees and people too. Um, but that kind of stuff happens when you've got, when you've got like 50 characters, you know, be it animal or human active on the screen at the same time, that's going to happen. <laughs> it's just too many lines of code running around each other and occasionally the one gets Close. stuck. So, yeah, um... So, yes, the game has some technical issues, but nothing that has detracted from the fun for me. Nothing that has taken me out of how great this world is and how great it looks. Um, you know, you can just, you can see, look at the clouds in the sky. Look at the, look at the mist of the sea on the land. Look at just how beautiful this game is. I, I can't recommend it highly enough. So, anyway, I'm out of time. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and go play Assassin's Creed 3. I promise you will not regret it. I'm Ryan, and I'm getting out of here. See you later.